In this video, we are going to discuss the IV3 discrete IO wiring, specifically for the self-contained model. You can find the IO diagram in the IV3 brochure or in the IV3 user's manual. It'll show the assignment for each colored wire along with the connection diagram. Uh, to start, we're going to look at the brown and the blue wire for our power. Brown is going to connect to the 24 volt side of your power supply and blue is going to connect to the zero volt side of your power supply. Next, we're gonna take a look at our outputs. In this example, I'm just going to use output one, which is my black wire. And by default, this has a function of total status okay. However, this is configurable in the software, which I will show in just a minute. We also wanna note the orange wire, which is our output common. This output common is required in order for your outputs to work correctly. So if you are having some issues, uh, always check the orange wire connection. Where the orange wire will connect will depend on what polarity you're going to use. So if you're going to want a PNP 24 volt output, then your output common would connect to the 24 volt side of your power supply. If instead you are wanting an NPN zero volt output, your output common would connect to the zero volt side of your power supply. In this example, I'm going to start with a PNP setup. So on the left hand picture, you can see my black output one wire is going to a light. And then on the picture on the right, you can see that I have my brown wire for 24 volts in my output common connected to my 24 volt terminal of the power supply. Right below that in terminal two, you can see I have my blue wire and my common for the light connected to my zero volt terminal of the power supply. The next thing we're going to do is go into the IO settings in IV3 Navigator and just check the polarity. So you can see I'm on PNP right now, but you can switch between. So for this example, I want PNP and hit OK. And next, we're going to go into the sensor setup. You can skip ahead to step four, your output assignment. And here is where you can configure your output one function. I'm going to keep it on total status OK, because I want my light to turn on for a good part. So if we put this into run mode, here's a side by side comparison. When I get an OK result, you can see that light turn on. And for a no good result, the light turns off. This is showing that my output's correctly working for a PNP setup. Now let's say instead you want to do an NPN setup for a zero volt signal. Again, we just need to change where the output common is wired and we also need to change the polarity in the software. So here's my wiring for NPN. You can see again, my black output one is going to my light and on the right image, you can see my output common is now connected to my zero volt side or zero volt terminal of my power supply. The common wire for the light is going to my 24 volt to complete the circuit. And then lastly, we just need to change the polarity in the software. So again, going into IO settings and adjusting that to NPN. When we go ahead and put this into run mode, here is another side by side showing again that for a good signal or a good part, my light is turning on. And when I get a no good result, my light turns off. Again, indicating that my output is correctly working for an NPN setup. Hopefully this video helped explain how to wire the IV3 and how the discrete outputs work. But if you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888-PIANCE, option two for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.